Hey guys, what's up? Swapnil here. Yes, you guessed it. Today I'm going to show you how to fold this wonderful chair. Yes, you guessed it. What is wonderful about it is when you just push these in, it becomes a stool, which you can sit, sit in it. And if you also open it, it becomes a chair. So, this is really simple to do. But the chair is... I don't know what is this difficult or simple but yes I will show you how to fold this today and you decide this is difficult or simple alright so let's begin so for this I'm gonna use my newest packet of origami paper which is Aito origami made in Japan okay paper 9.75 inches as you can see 100 inches uh, sorry 100 sheets alright so let's just take a sheet out from this packet and let's begin to fold all right so let's take this one skin color all right so this is a sheet of skin color and of kami and today I'm gonna show you how to fold from this sheet so let's begin all right, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to fold in half. Like this. And unfold and rotate and repeat. Fold in half. And now unfold it again and now this is a little tricky step what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and not fold it up to the center what we're gonna do is fold it up not fold just lift it up and fold it uh, taking the exact length so that this length is equal to this so this is equal to this so just estimate your exact and then just make a really soft crease. I think this much is enough. So I'm making a really soft crease. And now again fold it over on this edge. Okay. Or what we can do is rotate it, unfold it, and fold this edge to the crease. And make a pinch right here. And now let's see if this edge reaches this crease. Yes, it reaches. So now what we're going to do is crease sharply like this. And now fold this edge over this so that this edge reaches this edge. So we are like this. And unfold. And now this step is called thirds. As you know, let's zoom in now. So now this step right here is called the third step because it has three units, one, two, and three. All right, now let's begin with folding the chair. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take this edge. So what we're going to face so that these three creases just are standing. Okay, and now we're going to take this edge of the paper and fold it up to the middle. So now we're going to take it to the middle. Like this. And now roll it up, okay, on the existing crease, this one. Okay, fold it up again. And now we're going to unfold both of them. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate okay so that these three are sleeping now and now we're going to take this edge and fold it up to this vertical crease sorry horizontal crease okay like this and now rotate it and now again we're going to take this horizontal edge and fold it up to this horizontal crease 
like this. So first we're making creases for the chair to be formed. So see, this is a really neat chair without means just creases. Okay? There is no scribbleness or something like that. Alright, let's unfold now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fold again and unfold. So we're going to just mix this sharp and now fold the left edge up like this. Okay? This one up on the existing crease. Just fold it up, left one. And now fold again this lap up. And now fold again this lap up. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five units. Okay, and now we're gonna rotate it. Okay, so that the short edge are facing towards you. And now we're gonna fold this lap forward on this edge, like this. Okay, and now we're gonna fold on this crease, this one, like this. Unfold, and we're gonna all perform wellies so perform all wellies so this is a wellie this is a wellie and now this will also be a wellie so first rotate it in and let's repeat it in this direction so fold it right here and the last one fold right here like this so now let's roll it up once again and so now see it will be something like this okay now let's unfold it okay now all our alleys, as you can see, okay? And now, see this is also a tricky step. What we're gonna do is before the tricky step, we also have one fold. What is it? Is first we're gonna zoom in, and now we're gonna take this raw edge right here, now the colored one, we're gonna take this edge and fold it up to this edge right there, okay? Like this, we're gonna fold it right there. All right, crease it sharp and rotate and crease this sharp. All right, now we're gonna just fold it again, all valleys, like this, and now these two, like this, and like this. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge, okay? We're gonna fold, see, um, what is the guideline is that see this when you open it it is white and when you open this It is colored so like that we're gonna just discriminate all right So what we're gonna do is let the white white portion be on your right side and the colored on your left or if you're using both sided colored paper just feel which is broad side. So this side is broader, so keep it to your left. Alright, now what we're going to do is see, this is one unit right here, and this right here is one unit. Alright, so now we're going to do is we're going to insert this flap into this pocket so that it just goes in and these two units become equal, like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is first open these, this pocket and this pocket. Just keep them open. And now we're going to insert this flap inside this pocket. Okay? And now this flap inside this pocket. Not this one. Okay? That pocket. So we're going to insert it together. Okay? This flap into there like that. And this into this. Okay? So open it. Open, 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 and okay, so it's just get in, and now as it is got in, just push it. Boom, 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 boom. Push, 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 push. Okay, so here's a little curve fold. So now we're gonna push it in. Alright, so there's some problem right here. Okay, let's do it again. Try it again. Alright. So, first, now let's take this first in, okay, into this pocket, open it, and fold it in, like this, and now hold it right here, and now fold this in, like this, okay, 
just okay one and two all right now push Ooh. Ooh. push 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 and just keep on pushing till this edge and this edge right here just they come together like this just keep pushing in push 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 okay this is pushed in so now this one all right as you can see they have now disappeared and not disappeared just they are there but we can't see it all right so give it your best try this is where I am okay so this is a cubicle type thing okay so you can just look through it <laughs> like that all right here's my hand hi guys all right <laughs> let's move further further okay now is the time to do this chair step right here this is the most difficult one what we're gonna do is the most important thing before this step is you have to face in this direction where this lap is longer not this one where it's shorter see you can see it the white portion just comes up so we're gonna face the portion in this this number two is that just again see that where this edge and this edge just align as you can see it just is there so now just get that side where both the edges are locked and now we're gonna just transform it into the chair so this will be the chair and these two will be these two so let's again so see which is the broader side this one okay all right now what we're gonna do is first see push this flap in like this so see a mountain just appears okay as you can see a um, mountain appears and now just push it in till this edge re reaches that edge and the this mountain which is formed it gets formed from this point to that further point that edge okay so just see that and just see that if it is aligning and one more cool thing is that it should this edge right here okay this one should touch that inner crease as you can see there okay I hope you can see it so it should touch there so let me show you okay till there and now see it should reach this point and this point so this is a little complex fold and now repeat it right here so push this flap in on this crease okay I'm repeating it right here okay push it in and see a mountain appears right here we're gonna keep on pushing it in till this mountain reaches this point so push it when push 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 and see it reaches so now we're gonna make the crease and make the crease where this mountain ends like that okay and now another cool thing is this edge okay that edge should reach that crease so push it more in so that it reaches just just roll it up okay a rolling what we do when we roll it all right so now see this mountain appears just crease it there the last fold of our chair okay crease 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 and yes you have your very simple or complex I don't know for, for me this is simple but while explaining it's kind of complex to explain this but I've gave my best try what do you think and just let me know in the comments all right so this is your chair and if you want to transform it into a stool like this okay then what we need to do is yes you guessed it just push these sides in and first make these mountains right here and this mountain one and on this edge we're gonna just perform the mountain make the mountain on that edge and now push this in and now just fold this lap down like that okay just see I'm just getting my finger right here pushing it in so it provides support and now see a mountain up here is right here soft mountain just crease it sharp okay and there it is your stool okay where you can sit on
and see it's so hard that it can just fit a baby teddy bear. Let's zoom out so it can sit on it. Yay! See, it just can't. It can't sit on it. All right, I think we need a bigger one. So see if you just push this in. Okay, and now this can sit on it. I'll just push it in. All right, let's see if it can sit on the chair. Yes, it just sat <laughs> right here. Oh my God! <laughs> All right. So this is the chair ready for action model. Okay, and you can make it uh, out of the big paper and you can really sit on it. See, it's really hard. Okay, really hard as you can see. And just I'm holding here. Okay, and here. See, when you push it really in, it's really hard. So you can really sit on this stool also and also this chair. All right, so hope you like the model. Okay, here we have five chairs, and this is from a 16 square. Okay, a really small one. And now this is a tutorial one. So let's arrange it. This, this equal. Okay, this is also from a 10 inch square. Okay, that I don't need. So these two are equal on this and this. All right, so this is father, mother, and brother or sister and child that is me and my sister will sit on this so hope you like the model hope you enjoyed it and also it can be a tower see one push this in two then the other one three and then the four oh, this four and Five. And there it is, the chair tower. Woo, it just stood. And now just tap, 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 tap. Oh, it will never fall. <laughs> and now if I lift it, oh my god. All right, let's end the tutorial right here. And I think you have end up, ended up in this chair. So bye, everyone. See you the next Sunday with a brand new tutorial like this. Bye. See you the next Sunday.